Hi there, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. There's a question that I get asked almost every time I'm um, designing an engagement ring with one of my clients who's looking for a white metal for their ring. And that, que that question is, should I use white gold or should I use platinum? So what's the difference between white gold and platinum? Now this is a short question with a long answer, so it'll take me just a minute, but bear with me. I think it's important that you understand the pros and cons of each metal. So if you look up white gold on the periodic table of elements, you will observe that it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as white gold. There's only one kind of gold in the world, and gold is yellow. We all know what gold looks like. So how do you make white gold? Well, as you may know, 24 karat gold is pure gold. So there's no such thing as 24 karat white gold. 24 karat gold is always yellow. But as it turns out, 24 karat gold is too soft for making engagement rings out of anyway. It's unsuitable for engagement rings because it bends too easily and stones tend to fall out. In fact, if you've ever seen in like old Western movies where the prospector comes down from the mountains and the guy's biting on the gold to check if it's real, that's because pure gold is so soft you can actually bend it, deform it with your teeth. So it's too soft for making rings out of. So we make rings out of alloys of, of gold where we mix it with other metals. So let's say, for example, we're using 18 karat white gold. That means that it's 75% gold and 25% something else. So we use something very white for the something else, like nickel or cadmium for making white gold. If we're making rose gold, we'll use copper, and that's how you get the rose gold color. But talking about white gold, so we've mixed the gold with nickel or cadmium or what have you, palladium, to make a, a white gold. But it's still not pure white. It's still mostly yellow, so it's still a little bit yellowish. So how do we get it to that pure white that you're used to seeing in your ring? We cover it, we electroplate it in a very thin layer of a metal called rhodium. Rhodium is a very white, very hard, very brittle metal. It's actually too brittle to make rings out of because it kind of breaks. But it works great for covering gold, kind of like the candy shell on an M&M. &M. So that yellowish gold is covered with this very, very thin layer of rhodium, only a few molecules thick. Now that works great, but as you're wearing your ring and you're interacting with the world and you're touching desks and doorknobs and steering wheels, little by little, that coating of rhodium will wear off. And over time, that yellowish will start to show through. Now that's no big deal. You can take it back to the jeweler, whoever made it for you, and they will replate it in rhodium, restore that coating, and it's good as new. And you can do that pretty inexpensively. I do it as a courtesy for my clients for nothing. Um, and you can do it as many times as you want to. You'll never damage the ring by doing it. It doesn't degrade the ring in any way. So it's no big deal, but there's that maintenance that you have to do. Now platinum, on the other hand, is naturally white all the way through. So on day one, a white gold ring and a platinum ring will look identical. You can't tell them apart visually. But the platinum ring will never ever turn yellow. Sounds good, right? But platinum is also softer than white gold. It's more prone to scratching, denting, scuffing up, and very quickly it will develop a pattern of these markings on it. Now that pattern's called a patina, and many of my platinum clients, in fact, most of my platinum clients decide that they love their patina and they think it gives their ring character and they never want to change it. Kind of like rings on an oak tree, right? It's just, it's part of the natural beauty of the ring. And so many of my platinum cl clients choose never to polish their platinum because they want to preserve that patina. But if you don't agree with those people and you want it to look nice and polished and shiny and smooth like it did the day you got it, you can bring it to your jeweler. And again, if it's me, I do this at no charge. Uh, you polish it up and it's as good as new. And you can do that as many times as you want to and it won't degrade the ring. So what it comes down to is, would you rather do maintenance for color or would you rather do maintenance for scratches? Because you're gonna be doing one or the other depending on what's important to you. Uh, platinum is typically a little bit more expensive than white gold as a metal to work with. Now that's, un that's unusual and interesting because right now on a per ounce basis, you can look this up online, platinum is actually cheaper than gold. So why would a platinum ring be more expensive? Well, there are two reasons. One is that platinum is almost double the density of gold. So if you make the same ring in white gold as you do in platinum, the platinum ring will weigh almost twice as much, which makes it more expensive because you've used more material. And the other reason is because platinum has a higher melting point and is in general more difficult to work with. So it requires more expensive processes and machinery and, uh, and a different level of skill in, the, in a jeweler to work with it. It's just a more difficult metal to work with. So higher material costs because you're using more of it and higher labor costs mean the platinum rings tend to be a little bit more expensive. But today the price difference between white gold and platinum really isn't that significant, especially if you're looking at a, you know, a precious diamond ring. Don't let that two or three or five percent difference decide for you which one you're gonna get. Decide based on what's more important to you. 
the color fastness or the scratch resistance. So I hope you found that helpful and useful and interesting. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be checking comments and answering, uh, or you can reach out to us at Concierge Diamonds anytime. Again, I'm Dan Moran. Thanks.